You will have heard about the Mitchell Pierce thing by now. If not, here it is in 15 seconds or so. A repeat offender on the drink, Pierce found himself at an Australia Day house party where a video shows him simulating a sex act on a dog, trying to kiss an unwilling woman and apparently urinating on a couch. And all of this on the eve of a new season. Former NRL coach uh, and Roosters assistant coach Matt Elliott is on the line as we attempt to unravel this one. Matt, thanks for taking the time. I'm sure there's been a lot of fallout f for you. You've been hearing a lot. As someone who's made his living in league, what were your first reactions to this? Oh, obviously disappointment. Uh, you know, as I saw that anyone who's associated with the game would have been disappoint, disappointed. And I guess my next next reaction was, you know, I know Mitch, uh, I care about him deeply, and you know, it was just, you know, again in a place where I, I just was just upset that that he would have done something like that. Uh, I've been wading through the reaction on social media, and there's been plenty this morning, as you would expect. People calling for his sacking, people calling for his arrest even. Others are defending him as he, he was at a private party and he was filmed without his knowledge. So, I mean, can you see both sides of that argument? Uh, look, the, the reality of it is, it doesn't matter what the argument is, the reality of it is that when you sign an NRL contract, regardless of who you are, you're not a general part of the community. You have some other responsibilities, whether you like it or not, and whether the community likes it or not, you're a role model. So you can't do certain things, um, regardless of whether it's being filmed or not. If you don't do it, you don't have to worry about it. So I do believe that there needs to be a severe consequence. Do I believe that this should be career-threatening? Not in any way at all. OK, so if, if it's not career-threatening, what should happen to him? I mean, he's been stood down already. Uh, Trent Robinson spoke briefly this morning, says the matter's under investigation with the NRL, which effectively means we haven't decided yet how severe it's going to be. So short of a, uh, a career ender, what do you see happening? Well, let's just also take in what's already happened. The, the level of humiliation, mm. just how widespread this is, is already there. So I, I, you know, I am concerned about uh, Mitch's uh, health through this. Um, and you know that's I can't help that, and I, don't, I can't apologise for it either. But you know, so the consequences will be a hefty fine, and there'll be a suspension involved in this. You know, the NRL has already, through its integrity unit, shown very clearly that it's not going to tolerate this sort, sort of behaviour. Is it, or do I believe it should be career-ending for him? No, no. The, you know, we 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 also need to take a breath on this and and have a look at the severity of what he's done. He definitely needs to apologise for his behaviour and he definitely needs to think very seriously about um, you know, his conduct when he, when he consumes alcohol, mm. um, as many of us do. Uh, do you think, I mean, you know him well and, and you've coached him before and you, you're friends with him, obviously. Uh, does he have good people around him that, that'll help him get through this? Because when things like this happen, you know how intense that spotlight can be. Oh, I think the organisation that Trent Robinson's uh, set up there at the Roosters is highly admirable and they, they look at more than just the physical and playing development of players. They mm. certainly take a holistic approach. So uh, am I concerned about his the level of support he's getting? No. Uh, and equally, am I uh, concerned about how um, you know severely he'll be treated and, and the consequences? No. I also believe that you know, that they, the Roosters as an organisation deal with this stuff, you know, in a very precise and clear manner. So, you know, that both sides of things will be handled there. Yeah. As I say, I think that the wider, you know, some of the wider comments being made, sorry, not the wider community, but the wider comments being made about him having to be removed from the NRL are certainly an overreaction to the, to the, what I saw anyway. Do you think we'll see him then? They've already suspended betting for round one based on the outcome of this. Uh, do you think we see him in round one, or do you think we see him I in Origin? Um, the Origin decision will be one for Laurie Daly and Laurie Daly only, so I'm certainly not going to buy into that one. Mm. Do I think we'll see him in round one? No. What about if he is sacked from the Roosters, and there's plenty of people asking, I mean, surely he'll be picked up by someone else, or if not, Super League, we've seen that happen before. I don't think he should be sacked, personally. Mm. I think that he should face a severe consequence for you know something that he he will be regretting today. Yeah. You know I know Mitch well and he will be regretting his. I can't imagine how bad he'd feel and maybe justifiably so. Is this a sackable offence? From what I saw in the video, no. 
All right, there's been a lot of outrage. It's hit a lot of people in the NRL and in league circles very hard. Matt, thank you uh, for taking the time. I can tell it's affected you as it's affected a lot of people. Yeah, mate, no problem at all. All right, there you go. Some thoughts on Mitchell Pearce. It's been a very tough 48 hours for him. Plenty of outrage out there, plenty of thoughts. If you have some thoughts, get in touch with us as well at sportsfan underscore live is our Twitter handle.